What's going on everybody? Welcome to the first of probably many dev blogs for a game that I've been working on for a while now. Uh, it's a life simulation slash survival game. So it's kind of like The Sims meets a game like RimWorld. So it's a simulation, but then there's some survival elements. So like I said, I've been working on it for a while now, really um, over a year and a half. So there's a lot of systems already in place. I've already made a lot of progress, but I've got a long way to go. And I've been doing some things that hopefully some of you guys would think it's pretty interesting maybe it will give you some ideas for some projects you guys are working on and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get into it so this is the home screen of course all this will probably change eventually this is not the name of the game it's just kind of a random logo that I slapped there um, so yeah we have new game load game Loading works, saving, loading, all that works. Have our options menu, I'm still filling this in, but we do have working resolutions. It supports all the way up to 1080p. We're at 720 right now. Uh, let's go ahead and start a new game. So yeah, the first thing you do is create your character, and this will be one of the first screens that you see. You can choose your first and last name, have a little random button there, of course you can type in your own name. There's also something called quirks. Now these are little things that you add to your character's personality that control how they respond to the game world. And you can have up to five of them. So you can be musically gifted, so you'll learn musical skills a little bit faster. You can be a minimalist, so uh, you don't like a lot of things in your house. Um, workaholic, introvert, extrovert, um, dirt ball, uh, lazy. So. Yeah, there's a bunch of different quirks there. Next, you choose a life goal, which I only have two of these right now. But uh, a life goal is basically an optional quest that will be in the game that you don't have to do, but if you do it, you'll get a really powerful reward. So like the musician, uh, basically you have to get max level in three different uh, skills for, for different instruments. And it says you may even meet the rock god himself and be musically or and be gifted with mythical instruments with ancient power. So just kind of some fun things um, that you can do. Okay, next you actually create your character. Um, yeah, you can be male or female. I did have another option. I'll probably remove that just because it gets messy in all the coding. Um, but yeah, I was gonna allow you to do all kinds of things, but I, I think I'll expand on this system after the game's released, so it's easy to over-engineer things. Uh, but yeah, we have multiple body shapes, only two different hairstyles, two different eyebrow styles. I'll add more, of course, later on. A couple different face things, skin color, hair color, eye color, shirt, pants, um, rotate remove clothes, and a random button so we can randomize everything. <clears throat> so, um, there's our create a character, then we can just start the game. And what I've been working on today is actually uh, weather. So what you're seeing right now is snow. And uh, so the snow is accumulating and it will keep accumulating on the ground. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna have basically a white screen here in a minute, but that's okay. So working on that right now so here we have our different need bars now time is going really really fast so these are going down fast they'll probably be like all the way at the bottom here soon um, but yeah we have all of our needs that we have to keep up while we're playing of course this game goes in days and weeks and months so you want to feed yourself you know sleep do some fun things comfort and then you have a mood bar which mood takes into account all your kind of need bars and a bunch of other things like if you missed work which we just did because again time's going really fast um, your health so this is a health system so like if you have a headache all that's gonna play into your mood and your mood is gonna affect again kinda like a quirk how you respond to the game world so I've just been working you know over time on all these different systems so these are your needs all this works if I had a hamburger in front of me <laughs> um, I could eat it let's see if I can spawn something in if I remember the codes oh geez I can't even see it under the snow I just added this in before the video so let's go ahead and pick that up here's my inventory so 
Here's pancakes, so that's great. So I can eat these, Let's see where my hunger is, like completely empty. So I can eat the pancakes, and that raised my hunger bar a little bit. So all that is working. Have our inventory, we can take off our shirt. And it's gonna be somewhere around here. It's like under all the snow. Uh, we can pick the shirt back up. We can move, move it around in the slots. Again, we can take off our pants. Where is it? Oh, I can click Q, pick up. So yeah, our inventory works. It supports stacks of things. So if I add like, um, these, this is an item called ingredients, so basically you use this to make different uh, recipes. Uh, there's a stove that fully works, there's a refrigerator that works, it keeps your food fresh, all that's working, it's in the game. Uh, so here we have a stack, we can use the middle mouse button to split the stack. Um, yeah, so all this works pretty well. We can put the stack back, move things around. Yeah, inventory is pretty cool, had fun making that. And let's put our clothes back on. <laughs> So you can see it kind of goes over into these tabs right here. So that's our inventory. Our health uh, panel is pretty sweet. Uh, basically, you have these six slots, which this is actually your med kit. So whenever you pick up things like, uh, let's throw in a bandage. So I'm about to pick up a bandage. So whenever you pick up medical supplies, bandages, pills, band-aids, <clears throat> that's all gonna go into your med kit which then you can use if you need them. Uh, then you have this little man here, and uh, my computer's like making all these noises. So then you have this little man here, and uh, yeah, he's separated into different parts of the body. So you have your head, your chest, gut, uh, arms, and then your legs. So you can click each of these parts and see how you're feeling. Your head's feeling fine, stomach's feeling fine. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I'm gonna give myself a headache. So, I just gave myself a headache. Um, so you can see this grows, uh, gross. this glows red, uh, this little health bar, so then I can know if I'm like just playing that, oh crap, there's something wrong with my health. I can click that, and then I can see, oh, it's in my head, I can click that, and see it's a headache. So if I had some pain medicine, I could take that and alleviate the headache. Okay, so, uh, there's the health panel, and of course, there's so much more I could go over, but not enough time in this video. We have our mood thing. I'm not done with this. I've, I've not even started on it, really. It's going to be different things. Like, if you're in a bad mood, it'll be a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> then we have our skills, which you start off with social and cooking. Uh, you basically gain skills over time by um, just kind of interacting with the world. Uh, so uh, let's go into buy mode. Let's buy a guitar should go in my inventory um, there it is so we can play this guitar now in my in my skills oh dang it in my skills I don't have a guitar skill but when I play this guitar I'm gonna have a guitar skill you can see like he's playing now and he's not playing very well well let me stop playing guitar after the skill raises a little bit, well basically every time you raise a skill he gets a little bit better at the guitar so the soundtrack changes every time you play based on where your skill is. So there is our skills uh, and then we have of course our career which uh, right now for testing purposes he's in the retail career, um, he's working every day of the week, he works from 11am till 3pm and you can see this time's going really fast, it's 7am right now. At about 10, I'll be able to like go to work early. So if I can do it right on, right on time, I'm already late. Time's going really fast. So I just, I just, I'm at work now. At 3 p.m., I'll come back and I'll get my my sweet hard-earned cash. <clears throat> so yeah, there's our little uh, working system. So you can see I have like systems everywhere, but right now I'm kind of working on bringing them all. Um, into kind of like a maturity so it's like an actual mature game right now everything's all over the place but it will uh, it'll all come together and lastly we have our build mode which you can place walls and uh, 
wallpaper, you have your floor, you have doors. So like I said, I've been working on this over a year and a half. I haven't shown much until this video, unless you've been following me on Twitter, but that about wraps it up for this video. And um, again, this was just kind of showcase, like an overview of the game. Next video, I'll be showing you what I've been working on throughout this week. And uh, yeah, leave a like. Uh, if you like this video, leave a comment. If you have any ideas or, or anything you'd like to say, uh, if you want me to make more of these, let me know and I'll keep working uh, on these videos. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter. I'm posting every day. Twitter.com slash Wizzerti. You can also go to my website, read my dev blog there, Wizzerti.com. 